So hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Norverse and I know you guys are missing the integral part of our little story time and that is Lord Byron. He is currently in bed and I refuse to wake him because you guys know I am whipped. Yes, I can admit that I can be the bigger person and I can say that he literally tells me what to do, when to feed him, when to pet him, when to let him sleep, when to let him work. Basically, I am owned by him and I'm okay with it and I think all cat owners or pet owners in general are okay with it. So so now, I am starting a new story. We have finished Hitman's Baby and it was an incredible story. It had so many ups and downs, emotions and cliffhangers and I d realized that the new episode stories are actually really, really good. And it's not just a story but they're actual things that you don't expect. Like the older ones are a little more predictable. I guess the app was a little older so, so the new game methods that they have now were not available back then. But now you can do all these little games, you can do a different outfit, choice, I don't know, like it's different. You guys feel it too, right? Me too. So we're starting a new story called the soulmate game where basically the experts told you they found your perfect soulmate and your goal is to find this person and a house and a million dollars and the catch you won't know if he's the one until you hit the altar so it is a competitive little game while we're on the subject of being competitive and starting something new i would like to thank match masters for sponsoring today's video match masters is a competitive match three game where two players from around the world compete to get the highest score ever i've always loved match three games but with match masters where you get to play with players from around the world well that just makes things that much more interesting there are many ways to strategize and win in this game and you won't want to put it down like here let me show you so i'm looking for a player and it's charnel and we are trying to get blue oh it's not my turn yet so there are five rounds and each of us get a turn yes yes what is this yes oh blue i missed blue no oh my god we're tied at the moment six six Yes! Okay, now I get to use my booster. Oh, I'm so excited to show it to you guys. And as you can see, I'm this cute little pink bunny. Oh, and they're activating the ducky. Okay, my booster is way better than this. Are we ready? They're at 40. We can do this. Okay, activate. Yes! Let's do this, my little Cupid. Woohoo! Wow, okay. I'm gonna win this. My booster is top notch incredible do this some of this unbelievable i am so good at this i'm so going to win this get some more blues to get more boosters <laughs> good luck charnel you're gonna need it pretty much set now and i win yay this is amazing so as you can see this game is super fun and like i said you won't want to put it down Matchmasters is here with an adorable pinata race where you can win an amazing pinata by hitting the link in the description below along with exclusive in-app prizes and be automatically entered in the competitive pinata race where the winner will receive even more exclusive epic in-game prizes. Download Matchmasters today by using the link in the description below or by using the QR code here on the screen. I would like to give Matchmasters a huge thanks for this incredible offer and for sponsoring this video. And now without further ado, let's get back to the video. So this is Lord Byron's Instagram, my Instagram, our TikTok. Give this video a like and let's go. I'm so excited to start this story. Your heart pounds in anticipation and I am holding a lock and he is holding the key. So romantic and dramatic. Everything has led up to this moment. I am assuming that if it fits and opens, he's the one, right? Ah, this is so fun. I wonder if there's an actual option if he's not being the one. If any of you guys have done it, don't spoil it, but please let me know if there is a ending where we are not with our soulmate. There's only one question left. I love her hair. Does the person you've fallen in love with hold the key to your heart? Or have you played the soulmate game by your own rules? Time to find out. What is my first name? Okay, so we have a few options left. Let's see. Let's do Pora. We haven't done a Pora yet. And Pora is like a legit name, okay? It's a real name. I'm, I swear. What's my last name? I'm gonna say Pora Pash. No, Dash. Pora Pash. Okay. Would you like to customize your character's features? Yes. Let's make her look like moi. I do like the hair, but I will change the color. A light, not a platinum. That could be, could be. Nope, nope, oh no. Okay, so this one, done. And then skin tone, I'm a little paler. I do have a generic body, I guess. Lighter shades, too light, not that light. No. Mm. Oh yeah, that's the one. And now eyes and eyebrows. I like her eyes, but I'm gonna make them brown because I feel like our eyes are kind of similar, you know, if I add lashes. <laughs> uh, 
neutral brown. I, I'm a dark brown for sure. Let's change her eyebrows, please. I cannot do those eyebrows. I just can't. I guess that'll do. No scar. And I do like the color of them because I think my eyebrows are always darker than my hair. No, actually, maybe they're a little too dark. Okay, you know what? It'll do. It'll do. And nose. All right, that'll do. And face shape. Okay, that's fine. Honestly, I'm just going with the flow. I'm trying to do it as quick as possible. If you guys disagree, it's fine. Pretend she is your icon, okay? Um, I have hard lips. Yes. This twins. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she seems perfect. Okay, perfection. Three months ago. Oh my god, I always wanted to find true love, but luck was never on my side. Until the day I decided to apply for the world's hottest new reality TV show, The Soulmate Game. I'm ready to find love, I'm not one to give up. I want an adventure. Um, you know what, she's gonna be a fiery little cracker who loves adventure. You're so spirited, Pora. I love her name, guys, I'm obsessed. Congratulations, you have been chosen to participate in a one-of-a-kind experiment. Will you be the first to find true love in our soulmate game? Yes, I will, because I am positive and I'm a winner. And I got in! The soulmate game. I don't know how many times I can say it. Okay, so there's a few of us. How should I introduce myself to the girls? Like a piping hot pizza, like a sweet oatmeal cookie, like a bucket of extra spicy wings. Ugh, you guys know what I'm gonna say, right? Wings. Make room for Queen Pora, y'all. May the best woman win. Am I right? <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> I love your vibe, Pora. Yuriko, I love you, Yuriko. Uh, yawn. Oh, when will the real competition arrive? Okay, Layla, I can already tell that you and I are not gonna be vibing. It looks like she doesn't want to make friends. Uh, Grazia, rude. Just because I came like a pile of hot wings doesn't mean I don't want to make friends. I'm a girl's girl. Don't worry, the rest of us are nice. <laughs> totally. Welcome to the soulmate game, the only reality dating show that uses science to help you find your soulmate. We got it. Yay! Woo! 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 Soulmates! All of you are about to begin a one-of-a-kind experiment. An experience that can change your life forever. Our team of love experts has joined forces to help humanity answer the question everyone has asked since the dawn of time. Right, it has been that question, not how to feed yourself, not how to keep yourself warm, but this question, guys, pay attention. We're going to learn something new. Do soulmates exist and can you find yours? That's the question from the dawn of time. Why do we want to help humanity? find love? Dr. JV asks. Because love is the most wonderful feeling and everyone has a right to experience it. We've been studying love for years, working out a formula, and we're finally ready to put it to the test. If it works, we'll save so many people from the pain of heartbreak. Including me. Oh, Dr. Wang. I got you. To determine your ideal soulmate, we'll first need to find out who you each are. After that, our soulmate formula will take care of the rest. It's time to take your personality quizzes. Your journey to find your true love starts now. Woohoo! Yeah! I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. Okay. For this quiz, different answers will unlock a different soulmate with a unique personality. Your choices matter. Would you rather date someone who is loyal, smart, creative, adventurous? I'm gonna say loyal, first and foremost. What would you do with $1 million? Go to Las Vegas and bet half of it. <laughs> no. Invest it and make tons more money? Mm hmm Treat my family and give some to charity? Mm hmm Take a private jet to exotic locations? I would always go with treating my family and giving some to charity because, I mean, Sharing is caring, right? I know some of you are gonna be like, oh, let's go to a vacation or let's invest it. I would, investing it would be my next option, but I always choose family first, like family and friends first. And I'm being honest here. What's your biggest flaw? I'm easily bored, true. I can forget to take others' feelings into account, not true. I don't plan ahead, true. I'm sensitive to criticism, mm, kind of learned to get over that. Um, I'm gonna say I'm easily bored. It's a really big flaw for me. Which of the following would be your ideal first date? A karaoke bar, dinner in a movie, something spontaneous, a museum. <gasps> karaoke all the way. Even though I suck at singing, I love karaoke. During a party, you are getting ready to win beer pong, reading a book, singing and dancing to your favorite songs, catching up on all the hottest gossip, singing and dancing to your favorite songs. That's me. I mean, can this girl be more me? What's your favorite type of movie? Anything lighthearted. Films that get me thinking. Action flicks, musicals. I'm gonna say action flicks, because that's what I love. Which animal are you most like? Cat! The great honored owl, observant and wise. Okay, maybe, maybe. The fox, clever and powerful. I wouldn't say that. The rabbit, fun and loving. The dog, loyal and supportive. I am going to say the dog, even though 
I feel weird saying I'm like the dog, but I am loyal and supportive to all my friends and family. Choose something to drink. Handmade lemonade to share. 15 year old malt whiskey, strawberry milkshake and energy drink. I'm gonna say homemade lemonade to share because I love me a delicious homemade lemonade that's not too sweet, but perfectly sour. What statement describes you to a T? I figure things out as they happen. I'm helpful to the people around me. I'm a schedule kind of girl. I love being the center of attention. I'm helpful to the people around me. The second one would be I love being center of attention because who doesn't, right? I'm gonna say I'm helpful. In romance novels, you are most drawn to the witty player, the caring boyfriend, the mysterious bad boy, the cold-hearted hottie. I'm gonna say, oh, this. I feel like this is gonna be so important. I'm gonna have to remember this, right? In order to win our soulmate. Um, the witty player, the caring boyfriend. I'm gonna say the mysterious, I don't know, because they're all charming in their own way. I don't wanna go for the caring boyfriend because it's so cliche uh, in romance novels. I'm gonna say mysterious bad boy because it's not in real life, it says in romance novels, so mysterious bad boy. Bonus question, woo! Our love experts have found that partners with the same core values have happier, healthier relationships. I could have told you that. Our bonus question will let you choose your core values so our love experts can make sure your soulmate is a perfect match. Would you like the bonus question to count towards your match? You're about to see the first premium choice. Premium choices in the soulmate game give you exclusive experiences, help you deepen your relationships, and get you the best outfits and then some. The first one is free. Thanks, guys. Freebie. Um, yes, I'm looking for my forever love. I'm okay gambling on my future. No, no, no. <laughs> no. What's your core value? Intuition, fun, vulnerability, family, growth, freedom. I'm gonna say family. Always. Lasting love. Your soulmate will share family as their core value. So a bad boy with a family core value. I'm down. Ladies and gents, the results are in. Here's your unique card with your personality type. The diva. Enthusiastic, charismatic, outgoing. Oh my God, that's totally me. Except I wouldn't call myself a diva because I'm very nice and helpful to people around me. So I feel like divas are really like self-centered, maybe in my mind, but this, this is a great diva in my opinion. I'm okay with this diva. Calculating, okay, now it's time to find your soulmate. Perfect match found, woo, yay guys. Oh my God, this is it. I can already hear the wedding bells. Who knew science was what I needed to find love? Can this actually work? I'm gonna say, I can already hear the wedding bells cause I am a positive cookie. We can't wait for you to meet your soulmates. But first, here's your own personal heart. Whoa. Oh yeah, for the lock. It's such a nice heart. Everyone has a different color and mine is obviously red because I'm sassy like that. Ladies, you have all been matched with a man and received a locked heart. Only your soulmate has the key to open your heart. I know you're excited to meet them, but there's just one catch. You won't discover who your soulmate is until the very last step of your journey at the wedding altar. Dun, dun, dun. Only then will you find out if your soulmate's key opens your heart. If his key is the right one, you're going to home with one million dollars and a husband. A million dollars and love? Oh, say no more, sign me up. I'm so going to win this. Wow, this is going to be so fun. I don't care about money, I want to find love. I'm gonna say I'm so going to win this. I'm a competitive cookie, like I said. You're here to find love and win. I'm ready to win this. That's right. Are you ready to meet the men? Yes, we are, bring them on. OMG, my Prince Charming is among them. I can't wait, I hope they're hot. I'm gonna say, I cannot wait. Take a look around, ladies. Guys, do you see your tattoo with a lock locket? That's so cute. Each of you has a perfect match here. Now the million dollar question is, will you find him or will your heart lead you to someone else? Ooh la la. Okay, we're ready. Wow. Faint, I already have my eye on someone. OMG, they're all gorgeous. That one, I'm positive, like I said. You have found the most handsome guys in the world. How did you do it? I know, right? How are we supposed to choose? You have 30 minutes to date as many of the boys as you can. Only 30 minutes? This is like speed dating, but even faster than speed dating. Lightning speed dating. I mean, fast speed dating. Wow. After the speed dating, you'll choose the first guy you want to couple up with. So I hope none of you want the same guy. OMG. I need to find someone I have great chemistry with. This is so much pressure. Bring it on the boys. Oh, we're ready for this challenge. Bring on the boys. We can't wait any longer. Our job is to impress these super hot guys. Consider me hired full time. <laughs> You don't stand a chance against a former Miss America, okay? Miss America, I knew I had seen her somewhere. One more thing, ladies. The audience will be voting for their favorite girl during the speed dating sequence. Yay! I could get the confidence vote from the fans. The girl with the most votes will win a personal stylist. Ask genuine questions and be authentic in your responses. Now go! All of these hotties are waiting to meet you. Eight minutes and 29 seconds? No, eight hours and 29 minutes. 
There you go. Who was the first guy she talked to? Arthur, 28, Los Angeles vet, volunteer firefighter. Ooh, okay, cutie. Um, He seems very nice. We're not going for the nice guy right now, so next. Leo, 24, Mexico City, teacher, can't handle scary movies. <laughs> I'm sorry, Leo, no. A river, ooh. Miami, model, has traveled the world. He's gonna be a player, but let's talk to him. Let's make this fun. I was hoping you'd pick me gorgeous. Aw, okay. I was hoping you'd want to meet me. Your wish has been granted. I'm excited to get to know you. I'm gonna say I'm excited to get to No, you know what? We are a spicy cracker, like I said. Your wish has been granted. <laughs> Consider your wish granted. How are you feeling? What should I say? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm excited, but still a little nervous, super relaxed. I'm gonna say I'm excited, but still a little nervous. I'm both super excited and extremely nervous. I get what you mean. I feel the same. Wow, he's really like down to earth for uh, what I thought he was gonna be like, one of those like player model types, right? We have a little time left before time runs out. Tell me, why are you single? Worst pickup line you've ever used, introvert or extrovert? I'm gonna say, why are you single? Good question. Why are you single? I'm waiting for the one girl who knocks me off my feet and she's hard to find. Mm-hmm. Amazing, Pora is filling up the audience meter by asking great questions and being authentic. Cause Pora is awesome. It's time to switch. Our speed day went by too fast. I would hate to say goodbye so soon. This is your story and you have complete control of it. Ooh. You can choose to stay with the river for your second speed date and get to know him better or say goodbye and move on to the next guy. Psh, are you joking? We already know this guy, okay? Next. Choose carefully because he won't come back around. Wait, are you saying I will never see this dude again? Rude? No, but I do kind of want to meet all of them, so. More time with River, bye. Okay, Arthur, sorry, no. Gabriel, you guys know this is my type. Paris, painter, believes in organized mess. Ooh, ooh, a creative on our hands. Hold on, what, what's next? I'm so curious, I just want to know what's next. Malik, 22, London, professional boxer, has more than 20 tattoos. I'm not the biggest fan of tattoos, but a boxer, maybe he's a player. Hmm? Okay, let's try. Ooh, she's like feeling that. Hey, I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Did I catch your eye? Of course, you're so beautiful. How about telling me something personal? What's something you love about yourself? I like him, he's asking the questions, not me. What's something I love about myself? Everything. It's got to be my generosity, toughness, determination. I'm gonna say determination. Determination, I always get what I want. What about you? I'd say how much I care about my family. Family is everything to me. Oh my God, same. I feel closer to you already. I wish this day would never end. I really like asking you questions. I'm gonna say I feel closer to you already because same values. Getting to know you better is making me feel really close to you. It's like we've known each other forever. Yeah, that one question. Wow, poor is really charming our audience. I'm not surprised the audience loves you. It's be impossible not to. Okay, laying it on a little thick there, Malik. Time is running out. Do you have one last question for me? What catches your eye when you look at a woman? Who do you think is the hottest contestant? Would you kiss me if I asked you to? I'm gonna say, what catches your eye when you look at a woman? What is the first thing that catches your eye when you look at a woman? Her eyes and her smile. Ooh, do you like mine? Oh yeah, you got gorgeous eyes and a very sassy smile. It's crazy to think that you could be my soulmate. We might end up getting married at the end of this adventure. What are you feeling right now? Do you think the love experts could have chosen me as your soulmate? I think that you must be my soulmate. You might be the man for me. It's too soon to say. I'm gonna say you might be the man for me because family. You might be exactly what I came here looking for. I feel the same way. It's time to switch. Man, I really don't wanna leave. More time with Malik, next. <laughs> Next. Okay, nope, nope. Okay, let's just, nope. <gasps> Harry, 25, Delhi, real estate broker, has written a bestseller thriller novel. Where have this guy been? Okay, yes, I like a writer. I was hoping we'd have the chance to talk. I'm curious to know something. What's the one thing that's on your bucket list? Do you know any magic tricks? How good are you at flirting? I'm gonna say, what's the one thing on your bucket list? What is the one thing that is on your bucket list? Live up to the man I aspire to be and retire happy. Good, good. I like that. Way to go, Port. The audience loves your questions and answers. I'm the popular girl right now. Everyone wants this. If we become a couple, I need to know everything about you, the good and the bad. So tell me, what's something unusual about you? I'm left-handed. I dip my pizza in ketchup. I collect plush toys. I'm gonna say that I don't dip my pizza in ketchup, but I do dip it in barbecue sauce and ranch, so. Does that count? I'm gonna say I collect plush toys. Why not? Because I do, I like to collect toys, so let's just ignore the plush. I collect plush toys, please don't judge me. Why should I find it cute? Aw, you know the drill, switch! Darn. More time with Harry, where than you guys? Where than you guys? Okay, no, no, no. <gasps> Jimin, South Korea lawyer, knows how to play 10 instruments. This guy is an overachiever. Let's see what he's up to. Hey there, hi. Gotta admit, I was a little on the tense side, but I got a little help from the bottle of champagne. So you need liquid courage to flirt with me. Got it. 
I wish I had champagne too. Chamomile tea is how I relax. Is it weird that coffee calms me down? I'm gonna say I wish I had champs too. Let's be honest. Oh man, I could do with a little champagne right now too. Can we get pour a glass of champagne please? Yeah? <gasps> what a gentleman. Thank you. Speaking of relaxing, what do you like to do on the weekends to unwind? Um, volunteer, go for a walk in nature, play a board game. Play a board game. I love playing board games. Maybe a board game night will be in our future. Guess what time? Time to switch. Switch, switch, wow. <laughs> Jeez. More time with Jimin, time for the next cutie. Next. I know guys, I'm ruthless. Don't judge me. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Ah, damn. Looks like a bad boy with a heart of gold. That's what I'm talking about. Producer collects animal paintings. Who doesn't love an animal painting? I finally get to meet you, Pura. I wonder what this day would have been like if you had taken me out on a real date. What's your idea of a good date? I want to be prepared. Why don't you tell me what your idea of a good date for a good woman is? Good time equals good date. Anything expensive works for me. I like to keep it mellow. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know, good time as in like good time or like anything that makes us fun. It'll be a good date if we're having a good time. Yes, good answer. Today, as long as we're connecting, that's what matters most. Mm -hmm. Guys, I am the number one popular member. Good job, Pora. Aw, sorry for the interruption, but it's time to switch. No, I wanna talk to him more, I really like him. I'm starting to hate her voice. Me too. This is your last speed date, good luck. The last speed date, more time with Adam. I wanna meet the last hottie. Okay, we know we're gonna like Adam, so he's, he's the one I'm keeping my eyeballs on. I want to meet the last hottie. Let's see. No, no, no. What? That's it? Okay, this guy. Gabriel, let's go. Hello, nice to meet you. The more time passes, the more I realize that these speed dates don't last long enough. I think love experts didn't give us much time to push us to ask deep questions. Makes sense, right? How do your friends describe you in a word? Do you like to call or text? Are you an optimist or a pessimist? I'm gonna say how do your friends describe you in a word? Why not? Hmm? They describe me as creative because I'm an artiste. What about you? My friends would describe me as observant, energetic, optimistic, kind. I'm gonna say kind. Kind. I can see why they describe you as kind. Time's up, lovebirds. What a bummer. I really enjoyed spending time with you. Me too. Uh, it was really fun. I love talking to you. I felt a spark between us. I'm gonna say I love talking to you. I love talking to you. Me too. Okay, guys, so many options. Congrats, ladies. You made it through the speed dates. It's time to announce the audience favorite. One lucky woman will win her own stylist for the season. Okay, I'm ready, because girlfriend needs the styled. Uh, pet, we already know that I will be the winner. The winner with an insane 100% of the vote from the audience is, drum roll, Pora Pash. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, OMG! I knew I was going to win. I've never won anything. Thank you so much. I'm gonna say authentically. Thank you. I'm so happy. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You can pick between. Ooh. Auntie Caddy. She always has a cat with her and swears she can actually talk to them. Guys. I think we all know what I'm gonna pick because I love me a cat. But beneath her hair-brained exterior, she's got the scoop on who's who, what's what, and how to stun the competition. With her, you dig your claws into this experiment like nobody's business. Sister Snatch, this legendary fashion icon, must have helped from up above because she knows everything about everyone. She'd be an epic ally in winning the show. Gothic BFF, don't be fooled by her scowl. She's got a mean sense of style and gives killer advice on besting your opponents. Ooh. For red-hot performance coaching, she can't be beaten. Who do I want? Oh my god, guys, I'm gonna pick the cat lady because I'm a cat lady. Auntie Catty. Yay, now let's get to work. Meow. Katy Perry. Soon, all the contestants will have to choose the first guy they want to couple up with. Oh my god. Trust me when I say you want to look your very best in the next round. I'm so excited to pick the perfect outfit for the first coupling. I want to surprise my partner and feel confident, look flawless. I'm gonna say feel confident because if he's my soulmate, I don't need to work hard to surprise him. I got you. I curated a whole new wardrobe so you can nail this show. That's totally unfair. We should all get new wardrobes too. Sorry ladies, the audience made their choice and voted for their favorite. Our hands are tired, I'm afraid. Oh. Public opinion will be critical in the coming weeks and I know the audience will appreciate it if you thank them for their gift. So she's also my PR coach. You could go for a wardrobe that's elegant and chic. Ooh, that's beautiful. She looks like a pop star. The matchmaker. And look, that's edgy and unique. Oh my God, that's so cute. I love that red outfit. She looks like a K-pop star. And the till death do us part. Or something cute and sweet. No, that's not her. I'm, j I'm sorry, I'm just not feeling this. The true love's kiss. I'm feeling edgy till death do us part. Chic, the matchmaker. I'm gonna say till death do us part because I am a baddie. Are you sure you want this as your wardrobe? Yes, no, let me, yes. Doop, 
do. I'm ready. Time to look fabulous. Dress up for the first coupling. Plus, nab this exclusive wardrobe to keep for the whole story. Score the edgy set and feel your best. It's time for you to choose who you want to couple up with first on your journey to find love. This choice will be remembered. Which guy do I have the strongest connection with? Who do I want to couple up with? Yes, Adam, Arthur, Malik, Jimin, Leo, Gabriel, Harry, River. Oh, so many. Adam it is. Guys, I don't know what it is, but Adam just got me. Are you sure it's your final choice? Yes. I really liked Adam. I've already chosen the guy I want to couple up with. Adam. Okay, Layla, you are getting on my nerves. Why are you making that face? You didn't actually think you'd have a chance with him, did you? Psh, she's such a witch. I don't want to alarm you, but in case you're into Adam, while you were with your stylist, it got leaked that Adam is into you. When Layla heard, she snuck off to make him believe that you don't like him and have your eyes on another guy because she wants Adam to herself. I saw the whole thing. It was gross. She's ready to do anything to get Adam to choose her. <gasps> Oh no! You all must draw straws to determine the order you'll get to couple up in. You stand in a circle in front of the host before anyone else can go. Layla snatches the red straw. That jerk. And you pull the blue one, the green one, purple one, blue one. The red straw is the longest, so the first to choose is Layla. For a second with the blue straw, the third to choose is... Oh no, what if Adam goes with Layla because she gets to choose first? What if Adam believes the terrible thing she said about me? Okay, guys, if my soulmate believes what that jerk, that witch says, then he's not my soulmate. I know you're eager to choose your guy, but first... First, another twist. The guy will be able to turn you down if they hope to couple up with another woman who still has yet to choose. Yay, power. That's why each of you will now have the ability to go talk to the man you want to choose one more time. Oh, you have one last opportunity to make sure that person is the one for you before the first coupling. This is my chance to turn the tables. Tell Adam how you really feel. It'll be worth it. If Adam knows that I want to pick him, he'll turn Layla down so we can be together. I have to talk to Adam and let him know the honest truth before it's too late. Go talk to Adam. Let Layla have Adam. Never. I'm so glad you came to talk to me before the selection round, Bora. They told us that the girls would have one more chance to talk to a guy if they're choosing before the first coupling. I was really hoping you'd pick me. I just had to see you. Not gonna lie, this experiment is giving me the feels and it's like my emotions are magnified here. I know how you feel. Layla was just here and I was so worried she'd be the only one to choose me when the only girl I've been able to think about is you. You're the only one I can think about too. I know everything is going super fast, but I want to couple up with you and see if we're each other's soulmates. I'd want to be sure that the feeling go both ways though. Adam, I'm ready to go all in, but only if you wanted to. You're my first choice too, Pora. I can't help it. It just feels right. Hearing that from you makes me really freaking happy. We're so cute. So we're choosing each other tonight? Yeah, I can't wait. The contestants have made their choices and the men have made theirs. After coupling up, you'll move on to the next phase of the experiment and fly to the Maldives while you'll live together on a tropical island. Oh my god, you guys. The Maldives. That's so romantic. Layla, you won the first pick. It's time to make your choice. Okay, you jerk. The guy I choose is Adam. I'm sorry, Layla, but I can't choose you. I've already decided who I want to choose. Ah, oh, since Adam didn't choose Layla too, Layla will go to the back of the line now to choose again. But it's going to be slim pickings by the time she's up again. It's your turn, Pora. How do you feel? I feel so uh, excited. I'm sure you'll blow our lucky man away with this outfit, my dear. That was the point. The man I choose is Adam. It'd be an honor to start this adventure with you, Pora. <gasps> ah! Yay. Hold my hand. We have our first couple in the soulmate game and aren't they cute? You look amazing, by the way. I feel like I hardly deserve to be with you. You definitely don't, but you can try your best. I still can't believe you turned down Layla. Your choice made the difference. Well, having talked to you before they pick opened my eyes. I was only ready to accept her out of fear that you wouldn't reciprocate my feelings. Okay, we don't like a guy who's scared, okay? I'll give you that right now, I'll tell you, be honest. When I learned that you felt the same way about me, I didn't think twice about rejecting her. She's okay, but no one left their mark on me like you. Um, Aw, ew, it's so obvious that I'm Adam's soulmate. Don't worry about her, we're in this together now. I'm not worried about Layla, please. I can't believe I'm really on my journey to find love. Could Adam be my soulmate? Time will tell. Guys, wow. That was it for the first chapter. So long, so crazy, so fun. I'm obsessed with the story. And I would like to thank Matchmasters again for sponsoring this video. And you can find the links in the description below. Let me know your thoughts about the story in the comments below. I cannot wait to hear your opinions. If I picked the right soulmate, you guys let me know who your favorite was because I think Adam was my favorite, but I hope he's your favorite too because we're in this together. Anyway, give this video a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys later. Bye.